What is up, YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video, and we are back in the great game of. Well, actually, no, we're not back here. This is a brand new game on the channel called Refinery Caves. What is this game? We're going to be talking about that in today's video. I'll be showing you some gameplay because we might be making some more videos in this game. It is inspired by Lumber Tycoon 2, and this is the best inspired game that I have ever played of Lumber Tycoon 2 that does not have stolen code in it. Yes, there's lots of ripoffs on Roblox that are like Lumber Tycoon 5, Lumber Tycoon 10. No, this isn't even Lumber Tycoon. This is called Refinery Caves, and it's inspired. So here is an example of a store. You have all sorts of cool utilities, blueprints, more utilities, conveyors. You have players. This person's been very helpful in giving me or answering my question. We're going to go ahead and talk about how you can make money. I was given the recommendation to do deliveries, and this is the person that does deliveries. Talk to this person here. You need a job. You say yes, and then he gives you a box right here. Let's see where he wants us to go to the pickaxe shop. And doing deliveries is a great way to start making money in this game because it will help you get to know the map a bit better. So um, that was actually shared by Nessia. So thank you for giving that advice. But there's a map here. There's maps all over the map, actually. <laughs> and there's also these little directories pointing you which way to go. But we want to go to the cave where there's the cave store. So deliveries give you, I mean, I've been averaging about 70 to 80 dollars per box. It only takes about a minute to two to deliver each box, but it doesn't send you to the same place every time. Sometimes you go to different places like the furniture store or you go to the ore celery place. Not celery like the vegetable, but like celery like you sell there, apparently. But this way is the way to the cave mine shop. And here we go. We have the cave person. Hello. So let's go ahead and give you your box. And let's see how much money we get. Take the box. There we go. We got $44. Okay, that's really low. But still, I mean, we've been getting pretty good money otherwise. But here we are. And while we're here, we can take a look at some of the items. You have like a bronze pickaxe you have a boxed copper pickaxe you have drilled down here for like 9500 very expensive but we can afford a boxed iron pickaxe for 200 dollars we're gonna buy this really quickly buy for 200 yes but we're gonna unbox this there we go we have a brand new pickaxe so let's go ahead and do some mining to show you guys how to make more money in the game so i don't know where this tunnel goes it i assume it goes to a mine we're about to find out because i've not been down this tunnel at all so what are the chances we actually get lost down here? I think they're very high, which is unfortunate because I do not know this maze, but I think, is that an ore? Aha, we have found an ore. I don't know what type of ore this is. Um, We can mine it. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a lot of clicking, but at least we have a better pickaxe than what I had earlier and then I died. It just reset. But as you can see, this is how mining works in the game. Look at this. We are mining. I don't know what this is, but we have this rock nonetheless. We're going to put that in our truck. I don't, I don't see the rock. It's very, oh, we should have bought one of those helmets. Actually, we can't afford it. Um, yeah, I can't see where the rock went. Uh, but we're going to mine some of this too. And then we're going to get out of here before I forget how to get out of this maze. Okay, so we have this rock right here. We're going to put this in our trunk. And we are going to leave the maze and try to remember every single turn we made. So this is not going to go well whatsoever. But hey, that's what makes this game fun. And I like games like this, like Tycoon games, where you can collect resources, sell them, and then upgrade your base, buy new things. It's very cool. And this map is also very pretty. It's not just generic Lumber Tycoon map. It actually has some nice mountains. I mean, it has a volcano just like Lumber Tycoon 2, but any game can have a volcano. So over here is the ore celery. I'll show you how to sell ore. And I think there's like furnaces that you can smelt ores in to make them worth more. So we can buy that later once we can afford it. But we put this on here like that. We talk to this person here. Hello. And we sell for $5. We got a $5 rock, guys. That is impressive. But apparently deliveries are better for making money until you start discovering some of the better ores. I don't know which ones are worth a lot of money or not. So it's a little bit of a struggle. But hey, it's just it, it's called a learning curve. As you can see, there are different vehicles in the game that you can buy. There's oh, OK. You have a truck, you have an ATV, you have whatever that's. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and just park outside of the store like this so we can take a look at the furnaces they have and see, well, see how much it is. This one's $110. We just have to do a few more deliveries, then we can afford it. Uh, we also should save up for a helmet, which I think would be helpful in the future. But let's talk to this guy here and get ourselves another delivery. 
So this one's going to the celery. We only have 45 seconds to deliver it, but luckily it's pretty close by, so it shouldn't be any concern whatsoever. And there are also items here for sale, which we are going to check out in just a second, because I actually don't know what's being sold here. So we sold that package for $54, very nice. So let's see what's going on here. We have, oh, look at this. This, this is cool. Oh, that's scary. We have an Atom 8 furnace, a sand bed shaker. Oh, this is so cool. We have a Taurus. Dollars. You have all these blueprints, which is awesome. Angled conveyors. You have a Statler. I don't know. Tells information about things. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have like, oh, these are like resources, I think. We have wood, cobble. I don't know if you can just get wood. We have a conveyor aligner. Oh, and then you have like bulk. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is really awesome. It's like Lumber Tycoon 2. I, I mean, I compare it to Lumber Tycoon 2 because I've played it for so long and it's just, I have a lot of good memories in this game or that game, not this game. Game I don't have any memories in. Um, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and save up. We're going to do one more delivery and then we're going to go buy a furnace so then we can start smelting the ores. So this next box here is going to the furniture store. And one thing I will say, if you do do a delivery and you have like a box for the furniture store and you're still driving the rusty car that you start out with, chances are you won't be able to complete that delivery. I don't know if it's just because I'm bad at the game, but every single time I try to make it to the furniture store, I could not make it on time. So I haven't even, well actually, I have been to the furniture store, but it was like, I didn't make the delivery on time. So let's go ahead and check out that store as well by making this delivery. Because like I said, doing deliveries, or actually not like I said, but like I reiterated and like Nessa said, uh, Nessia maybe, Nessia said, um, when you do deliveries, it teaches you the map and how to get to specific places, which is awesome. So over here is the furniture store. And with this car, which was again, like I think $120, we are able to make it there right on time. So let's drop our car off here and take this box inside to Mr. Person here. Oh, gosh, it's like the, um, the, the Stranger Things ice cream guy. I don't know his name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got that one for $40 as well. But let's take a look around here. We have some cool ceiling lights. Look at that. We have a bathtub, a toilet, couches, shelves, flowers, more blueprints. Look at this. We have thin walls. Look at that. I wonder if there's windows. There probably is. I think, yeah, I think there was glass back there or something. And then we have some paintings. Look at this. But again, we can't afford any of this. We only have $156. We need to focus on money making first, and then we can start upgrading furniture. But for now, we are going to drive back and get ourselves a furnace. So inside of here, once again, we can go ahead and buy the boxed old furnace for $110. I'll also show you where you can get the car. It's in the same store here. Uh, and this car is, again, like I think the cheapest vehicle you can buy. If not, it's just like the next one you should buy after the rusty one. But here it is. Again, it's called the Tinter, and it's $120. And we can drive back to our base now. It's a very humble one. We don't really have much space. But we can also always expand it by going to the land store right there. But for now, we're just going to keep it the way it is. Let's go ahead and place our furnace. I don't know where we should put it. So I had actually rejoined the game. I guess there are some sort of bugs. But we're going to go ahead and place this uh, furnace right here. There we go. And now it's not bugged. Also probably need to get some conveyors at some point. But I can't really afford those. I mean, I could probably afford them. But I choose not to. So we're going to go ahead and test out the furnace. We're going to smelt an ore, and then we are just going to be done today with this episode. And you don't have to go all the way into the caves just to get ore. I mean, there's probably there's ore scattered all around the map, but we're just going to go over here just for the sake of demonstration purposes. And the fact that I have no idea where else there is or ore without having to look at the map. But outside of here, we have actually we can turn our lights on. We have ore. Look at that. I don't know what type of ore any of this is, but some of it does look slightly interesting like this. Like what the, you guys can't see, it's too dark. Let me, let me turn the car so we can point the lights at the ore. Look at this, look at this. There's like these blocks here. I don't know what these blocks are, but they look good. Maybe they will sell for money. Ooh, look at this. Oh, what we got, we got, this looks like a random or a regular rock, but um, yeah, we're just gonna take it anyways. And then let's take this and see what we get here. I don't know how mining works in this game yet, besides just clicking and random ores dropping from whatever you're clicking. 
But I will learn eventually and I will share my knowledge with you once I figure everything out. Look at this. We got another regular rock. Oh, maybe we have to smelt it first and then we can get it like the metal out of it or whatever this is. I feel like this is iron. So with our three rocks, we're going to go ahead and go back to our base where we're going to put these in the furnace. I don't know what comes out of the furnace necessarily, so we're both going to find out. And then we can sell it at the celery vegetable place. I'm just kidding. It's not the vegetable place. It's called the celery with an S. It's spelled celery. Uh, hello. Uh, the sun's rising. Oh, no, it's the moon. I don't know where the sun is. But it's raining. I mean, doesn't look, it looks like it looks like it's raining rocks almost. But this is a very cool looking furnace. It almost looks like a DJ techno thing. Like you have the discs. Hi. Oh, you got new car. Very cool car. <laughs> he says cool. Too. Uh, okay, so let's slip these inside of here. Hopefully they fit. They do fit. Okay, that's great. We don't have a conveyor, but we can still manage. And I think this is the right way. There we go. What comes out? Oh my gosh. Look at this. I don't know what this is, but we have this. <laughs> this is so exciting. I mean, the texture is metal, so it might be tin or something, which is still pretty exciting, if you ask me. Um, where did the block? Gosh, I lost one. It's... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it just fell out. There we go. Get back in the trunk. There we go. So, now we can head over to the celery. So here we are at the celery. Obviously, this person here sold some ore. So let's do the same and copycat them. We're going to put our ore on the scale right here. There we go. Voila, voila, voila. And talk to this person here. Oh, look at that. Look at that money. $49 compared to $5 earlier. Now that is what I'm talking about, everyone. What a Pog Gamer Champ moment. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, everyone, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did consider... Um, wait, no. Hold on. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did like it, consider subscribing so we can hit 100,000 subscribers. If you want to play this game, a link to it will be in the description below. It is completely free to play on Roblox. Again, it's a popular game. 4,000 players. Well are playing this right now which is pretty awesome <laughs> we're being kidnapped oh no where are we going little did i know i was about to die <laughs>